So guys, it is a nice warm day here in Ontario. Um, I've been wanting to make this video for a while, but I never got there. And uh, luckily today I have the opportunity to do it. And uh, for anybody that was wondering for um, uh, a weather update for us up here, we didn't get anywhere near the snow you guys did. I know southwestern Ontario got more than we did. Um, we got a little bit of blowing snow, but the thing that actually got us was the wind. The wind was howling, and it was so freaking cold. It was like early January here. It was just, it was hard just doing anything outside. Tractor, it's an equipment, just didn't want to work, and my rake blew over, which was, I wasn't so excited about. But I lifted it back up and uh, continued on my day. But I just wanted to give you guys that update too, uh, just to have an idea. It was roughly about negative 20 for about four days. And in March, that's kind of unheard of here. But uh, it's been the ups and downs winter here. But back to the topic at hand, I wanted to talk to you guys about a uh, what clothing works for farming. And a lot of people don't really think about it too much. But there's a lot of logic that goes into the clothing that you choose when you're in agriculture because... You take the wrong clothing or you use the wrong equipment and you're either wasting time, getting cold, getting wet, getting sick. It all adds up. So uh, it's uh, it's something that you should work on and know about so that most people know it. But anybody who's new to farming, it, it might be some tips in here that can help you so that when you get involved, you don't end up buying things that don't work. So, so I'm going to start here with winter. Um, the key being... Layering is your best friend. Uh, I know a lot of people when you get a nice new jacket and you think, wow, you know what, this is an expensive jacket, it should work well. The problem is, is if you can't layer it up or layering it down, it sucks because what happens is you start sweating. And if you start sweating and you're outside in the winter and the cold, you end up getting cold and sick and uh, you end up having to stop work. So where, where if you layer, you end up thinning it down and taking layers off, then you can continue work, slow down the sweating while still continuing for the rest of the day. So this is my winter set. This is what I usually wear. Uh, these right here are Bass Pro Specials. And uh, they're really good. They're a neopre neoprene boot. Um, they're pretty worn down, these ones. But they have little grips and they're not designed for deep because what happens here is it gets cold, gets so cold the ground gets hard and we don't really get the dumping in the snow because everything kind of gets cleared off with the plows and everything. So you just need something that's gonna keep your feet warm. And the neoprene seems to work well, uh, maybe some thick socks and it works well. The second thing is the overalls. I really like these uh, if it's cold. Um, it gives you double layers on your chest because it goes up past your waist. Because what happens is if you just have layered pants that are just ending at your waist, the wind starts blowing up your back and makes you cold so freaking fast. And uh, I, I hate being cold. So I have that and I wear those and then I wear my duck jacket. It's an old one, a green one. We used to call them hydro jackets and stuff, but uh, it works well and it just stops the wind. It's about a size bigger. And if you can get clothes that are a little bit bigger so that you have room to layer, it works well. So this is typically what I wear in spring, fall. Um, just a high boot with overalls. And then you can layer inside the overalls. These ones are insulated, but they don't need to be insulated. They can also be thin with a jacket on top. Um, it just if you put a jacket on top, it makes a big difference if it's uh, windbreak or it's waterproof to kind of keep you dry. That's typically what I use in, in spring. Uh, this keeps your most of your body pretty clean and pretty dry. And then this way you're not kind of soaked when you come in. But I would suggest a windbreak over here or something that is water resistant. Uh, I don't have anything here, so I couldn't really put it on film. But this is what works well for me. And another note that... Um, I really want to stress is natural fibers. I am an avid believer in natural, natural fibers. If you can find it and it's made from nature, it makes a huge difference. And I don't care what anyone says, the quality is never there in synthetic, never. Uh, a prime example is that duck jacket that you just saw right here. 
that I threw over here in the pile after I showed you guys. And uh, the pan the overalls, they are all made of cotton that is heavy quality, thickened cotton that's toughened up. And it makes a massive difference in insulating your body. Um, if you have anything as a secondary layer that I didn't show you guys, I always use a wool sweater, 100% wool sweater, because your body works well with wool. It, it takes away, it wicks moisture, and it allows it to breathe very well, which I don't find that you can do in synthetic fibers. The other thing is, is the hide gloves. So these hide gloves, uh, I like deer hide because it seems to flex better and seems to mold better to your skin. I uh, The other thing I like about these ones is they tighten around the top ends of your hand which is nice so that because what happens is this gets loose after a while and it's a bit of a pain in the butt and it kind of likes to roll down on your hand and uh, these ones aren't worn too bad I barely use these these are kind of my emergency set that I leave in my truck but it seems to work what uh, well for like what happens is your hands sweat and that type of stuff and uh, they breathe they breathe because it's natural hide uh, I like that I find that if I was to get the synthetic gloves, they get soaked and they get gross and I, I just never really liked them. So this is what I use. So lastly here, I have uh, my summer stuff. This uh, I would say is kind of summer going into from spring. So I have this high boot just there. Just if you're in um, spring, summer, it's still a bit wet. It's nice to have a higher boot that kind of saves your cuffs, your pants. Um, I have this light boot that's kind of crappy and got holes in it for when I'm just working in the summer If I sweat in it, whatever But the only thing I do know here is I have those duck pants that are not insulated and then I have Dickies or um, The less I don't know what they're called. They're basically cheap work pants They're the only things I think these are actually polyester, but uh, the, they're the only things that I find that I do like that are synthetic making and the reason I like the lighter ones, the Dickies, over the work pants is I don't have that much abrasion on my stuff, like when I'm working. So I don't find that I need the durability of the tough duck pants there as much. Only because what happens is those tough duck pants seem to be harder to work and they don't flex as much. So in the middle of summer and you're sweating, you don't want something that close to your skin and flexing that, or not wanting to flex and kind of burning calories when you don't need to be. So I see. I seem to go more closer to the Dickies pants in the summer. I I like them. They're comfortable and they keep me so that I'm not sweating as much. That right there is what works for me. I find that all of those things have kind of over trial and error and adding layers if it's certain temperatures and that type of stuff. That's what works for me and what keeps me from <laughs> having to go inside and change because it's not really working. And you don't want to be that person where you're soaked when you don't need to be. Um, I don't really like having the feeling of feeling disgusting, like where you're soaked. And you, if you had the option of making sure that you're not, um, the more comfortable you are, the better you work. This is the same argument that I make with air conditioners and tractors. The more comfortable you are, the longer you work. So comfortable does make a difference. And that's what I wear. This is what I use. If you guys have any questions or things that you uh, would add to it, I would love to hear because uh, I just want anybody that's not from farming that's getting into it to have an idea of what to kind of use because no one wants to spend money that they don't need to. Um, and I suggest anybody that's doing this or trying this, just go to a used thrift store. Look for work clothes that are not um that are there that are not destroyed because that's all that's going to happen with the most of the stuff is it's just going to get destroyed um it's it's more about practicality um and uh that that's what works for me so thanks for watching guys feel free to comment rate and subscribe as always and keep farming keep having fun keep warm